Okay, um, I'm going to make some venison stew later uh, this evening for supper. And say it's just the same thing as beef stew, but I have um, some stew meat um, from a deer that we had, uh, Richard had got earlier in the year. And, well, actually last fall. Uh, but anyway, that meat is uh, thawing out, so um, I'll have to wait on that. But I went ahead and chopped these up, and I'll just put them in the refrigerator. I just went to the grocery store, and I didn't want to put them up, and then get them all back out. So, <clears throat> what I have here, <coughs> excuse me, is uh, one large red onion, about a cup of baby carrots, and in the bottom, about a cup of celery chopped up. <coughs> and then these potatoes... I'll wash and um, kind of dice those up in large in large pieces. I probably won't even peel those because um, Richard just kind of likes them like that. But anyway, I'll cut those up in chunks and then the beef stew mix. And let's see what it says on the back. Okay, flour, oil, and water. Yeah, and then the vegetables. So we're good. Um, actually, I'm going to fix this in the power cooker. I've not tried this in the power cooker, so I just got that for Christmas, and I fixed a lot of things, but I haven't fixed this. So we'll see how that works in there. Um, I went ahead and put the uh, carrots, and I sauced up the celery, and I went ahead and put those in the dehydrator. Um, that's something that I only use usually if I'm going to do stews or soups or whatever, but it works well when I dehydrate it. So I dehydrate it and then put it in a, um, one of my canning jars, uh, seal it up, <coughs> and save it for when I need it. Um, actually, I have a little bit of celery over there. Uh, it looks like a little bit of carrots, too, but I went ahead and got these fresh ones today. So I will, um, when these, I'm not sure how long they take in this, this dehydrator. This was a, a Christmas gift, and um, I've not tried the vegetables in it. I did some jerky, but not um, not the vegetables. My old one, um, it took a little while for the, for the carrots especially. But we'll wait and see. But anyway, that way nothing goes to waste. Okay, I'm getting ready to make a venison stew in the power cooker. I've never done this one before, this recipe, uh, in the power cooker, of course. Um, so, I don't think you can really tell, but I have just a tiny bit of vegetable oil on the bottom. And I cannot find my... The is the manual, so let's kind of get them on this. So I have about two pounds of cubed up venison, you can see, and I coated it in a little bit of flour, just about, well, I don't know, just dumped some in the bag, no exact amount. Um, put this lid on, close it, and I've never used the brown button. So, I guess we're going to figure that out. See how that works. And, um, yeah, I'll get back to you. Okay, I just figured it out. And, um, you don't really have to put the lid on to, at all for the brown mode. Um, to brown the meat. I'm just going to put it in here and it does its own thing. It's kind of like a big fine skillet. So, I really like that. I like my dirty meat. Several more. Um, things, several more pots. So, uh, it automatically set on 20, 20 uh, we're going to be 14 right now. So, I'll let that brown up and um, I'll add water and vegetables in. So, I have the meat browned. Um, I don't know, I left it on about 15 minutes, I guess. And uh, it looks good, it smells good. Um, now I will add three cups of water. It's two. And get this three. Okay. It's three cups of water. And a packet of beef stew mix. I'll just kind of stir that in a little. Here we are at this point. 
I have the water and the seasoning packet mixed in with the meat. Now I'm getting ready to add the vegetables. Now here you can see I have, I showed you earlier the, um, I have about a cup of celery, a cup of carrots, one large onion, and four potatoes. Let's kind of make this cute. Dump all those in. So I'm hoping that by the time all this cooks down, that we will have plenty. I don't want it to be too watery, so I don't know. We'll try it and see, see how it goes. I can see the water levels, the liquid levels, like right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, there's our beef stew. As you can see, it's cooked down and yeah, everything is real good. I already checked the vegetables and they're really good and tender and the meat's done and yeah, it turned out really good. Tastes great. So that's our venison stew and the power cooker.